What's up guys, Stembo Mwanza back again and the date is the 1st of February. I'm going to explain three things and three additional things about abs that I guess everyone should know. And oh, yeah. Say, 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 hey, hey now, baby. So let's go on the straight. Hey, hey, hey. Nowadays, ah, I'm too okay. Yeah. So, first tip. First tip is that I think, personally, I think it helps that you eat small meals. And it's not like a definite. Def ah, shit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When you eat like really small meals and shit, it kind of makes your stomach and your waist smaller, so it helps with the whole process of getting abs. I mean, don't eat once a day and eat a stupid big meal. I mean, like eat like probably three times a day, divide it into three meals. And I know it takes more time, but pff, it's full of abs and then sexiness and shit. So it should help. I really hope it helps. It helped me. That's that. So second tip coming up. All right. Okay. So. Uh, second tip, I personally think you should um, actually work out your abs and I'm not against it actually, I'm so for it except for the fact that you only rely on working out on your abs and treat them like the, any other muscle that you have so treat them like lift, treat your abs with weights like I personally think that because your abs are muscles as well treating them with weights will cause hypertrophy which is like muscle growth yeah in scientific words yeah. these, are, these are major goals yeah. I can't push this. I can't push this. I'm making a video about the spark and abs. Now that comes to my third point. Um, it's about dieting. Dieting doesn't exactly mean I don't exactly mean bro, like cut out every single stupid that you eat from your food. I would just advise that you keep your fats as low as possible and moderate your carbohydrates. So the thing is that your fats cover your abs in a way that they're hidden because the whole point of getting abs is that all you're doing is that you're moving the fat above your muscles yeah and that's it and that's how you get abs and then working out just like forms the blocks so you're like oh how does he have six bucks like how does he have six bucks is because he like he forms his blocks so he works his abs out and why do they show so much because he's lean either by genetics because most people just have like stupid good genetics and then they yeah they just like stupid good and then, yeah, that's it. So, all right. So first off, we started off with um, weighted crunches. For this one, I'd prefer that I prefer to use a weight that's like moderate. That's something I can manage for about fifteen reps. Okay. So I think I use the thirty-five or forty kilo here. Uh, here I have my. We have our legs shorter width apart. And we make sure that our hips are flexed and fixed and our legs are fixed as well. And make sure that the only thing contracting is our abdomen and we have a forceful contraction. We move all the way from um, uh, about slightly above horizontal position till our elbows hit our thighs. And we do this for about 10 to 15 reps. I think that's about it. And also, if you could max out, max out only on your last set. So do this for four, for four to six sets. Then up next I hit uh, leg raises. For leg raises, I and I took off my shirt just to explain it well. I have my hands, I hope you can see it in the mirror, about really wide apart because that helps prevent me from moving back and forth. Then I also engage my lats so that I don't move back. So I have my hips flexed and I just elevate my legs to a horizontal position. You could go past horizontal and go way higher but I find it's like horizontal is the level that I'm on as of now because this thing's quite difficult for me and I do this for about 10 reps or just till I max out because it's quite it's not really hard but it's it takes a toll on your body a bit up next I did knee raises exact same form as the leg raises with your hands wide apart and with your hands wide apart, except this time use your knees. It gives you a better range of motion, it's much, although it's much easier because it feels like there's less weight on your abs. I do this for about 10 to 15 reps as much as, as far as I can go. And um, if you could add a weight to your foot, that would be even like way better. It would help contract your lower abs and give you that lower, lower um, division. And up next, I did these 
uh, lying, seated, I don't know how to call this anyway. But yeah, I do this for about 10 to 15 reps. It's it's not hard, honestly, but it really helps, like, give the division in your abs. Like, you can see that my, you can see how the bo- my body is, like, taking it. And you really enjoy it. You get to enjoy it because the longer you go, the harder it gets on your body. And you can actually max out. You don't have to really go through a lot of pain to from the beginning to the end of the workout. And then up next, we hit my trio. So it's a trio of leg elevations, scissors, horizontal scissors, and uh, horizontal and vertical scissors, leg kicks. Anyway, so for this, I do 10 reps. For the horizontal leg, ah, for the leg elevations, I do 10 reps. And I just have my hands either under my buttocks or by the side, by the side of my body, just for stabilization. Then you'd also want to probably max out a bit on that. Then I have my scissors kicks, which I do for 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds, depends on how strong I feel that day. Yeah, then I have my hands either by the side or I put them in the air, depends. You could do either one. One is harder than the other. You notice it when you try it on your own. I hope you feel it. And later on, the lateral the lateral kicks, the horizontal kicks, sorry. And you kind of feel this in your lower abs. And it's dope. But I have my hands wide apart because I need to stabilize it. Otherwise, I would fall to the side and tip over. This is a really dope exercise. And you will feel the burn. I'm pretty sure of that because I do every time. And lastly, I had just normal setup, normal sit-ups on a weird machine. It's just like a normal sit-up, just the machine is weird. It's very, it helped, the inclination helps vary which part of your abs you're doing. So I do this for about 15 to 20 reps. Just usually as one of my last exercises, because it's light, it's not too hard on your body, and you just enjoy it the entire time. So thanks for watching. Peace. My current physique, it's not like I'm posting this because like I'm super ripped or some shit like that. I'm actually really not so. I'm posting this like to show my journey from where I am now, and I'll show my physique probably monthly or weekly, however you guys wish, and just to show where we start and where we end with the entire thing. So my front physique is currently this. This is contracted. I don't even lie, this is contracted. Yeah. This is uncontracted. Then, I really hope you like this video, and if you do, please, please, as in smash the like button. Like, if you like it, like, you really like it, and then please comment if you got anything to say, and please share it with all you, all you, <laughs> English, with all your mates and everything. I really appreciate that. And you guys have been so real, like, I really appreciate the views and everything. Like, it's been super dope. Peace.